Welcome back. Last Wednesday, a member of the village's E-Flyers showed off one of his new aircraft with a spectacular demonstration. He flew his new paramodel above the village's polo club and released two model skydivers who made it to the ground safely. There's a lot of logistics involved with this. It, for, for the two skydivers and uh, flying the trike fly and uh, ground prep, is about six people. I knew it was going to be uh, challenging. <laughs> when I was in another life, I was um, uh, a skydiver. I used to, uh, I made about 2,500 parachute jumps and I jumped off of, uh, oh, bridges, mountains, antennas, and I just liked that a lot. And then as I got older, I got smarter and I uh, got into radio control airplanes. And I really like the idea of a skydiver that's free falls for three or four seconds, opens up and lands. My body can't take those skydives anymore, so I let uh, uh, Stephen and Maynard take it. Those are the two skydivers. The people here are great. This club's great. And um, I was elected to be uh, chief flight instructor this year. So it's been great fun training students in the ways and means of RC flying. We did a show uh, last month for the polo field that had the skydivers and the flag. And, we played uh, God Bless America. It was, it was really good. All the veterans stood up. It was really cool. Mike says he spends almost every morning flying one of his 18 radio-controlled airplanes at the polo fields and then works in the afternoon as a sales representative for properties of the villages.